we're in my kitchen. It's a mess. And uh, we're making a. Uh, I'm going to do a video to show you guys how to make a, a pot roast. Well, my wife's like the king of the pot roast. And uh, so I'm going to show you her way of doing it. It's in the morning, I can't talk. You know how I am in the morning. I got licorice lips. Okay? You can talk, I'll be shy. Can we have a pan mm -hmm. over here? I'm not going to show you because I'm not showing. Show, show the pan. There's the pan. I've had it heating up. I'm going to put some water in it just to make sure it's hot enough. Okay. That's definitely hot enough. Take the water that threw it out. Okay, well that's what I do with oil. Gargoyle showed me that trick. Gargoyle's a good dude. Do you know who Gargoyle is? One of your YouTube gun guys. He's a cool dude. He owns a... Uh, Olive oil. I'm oh, sorry. He owns a Smith & Wesson M&P. And a 1911 and a Glock. And uh, put a ton of he's a good salt dude. Oh, I'm not paying attention. A ton of salt and pepper. And pepper. And you want to sear each side of the outside. Sear the outside. The entire outside. All right. Okay, we're going to after it's done searing, we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Be right back. All right, we're searing. Explain what searing is. Searing is when you cook the meat on a very, very, very high temperature, and it burns or kind of sears, just closes the meat. So mm -hmm. when it's cooking, the juices don't come out. So it completely seals it in there. It sears like, all the like, juices. It's there. just like blocking someone on YouTube. You just completely seal them out of your life. All right. Same thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, I had to do that today. It's the same thing. Yep. A lot of fucking traders out there. Yeah, that's fucking good. Sorry, I'm still having a hard time forgetting about that. <clears throat> that's right. the best. Wow, that looks awesome. Food. Let's see. And that is seared meat. All right. Well, we're going to continue searing it, and then. Uh, I'll show you the steps. Alright, what's up Phil? You're the man. I just want to show you what's going on real quick. This is my my son's room. And uh, my, Pete moved out. Pete slept on the bottom. So what we did was, see these little slots right here? What's the matter, Luce? Being a good girl? Yeah. These guys protect the house. Alright, see that one right there? This one's a little bigger. But this one's more muscular. Gia, she's being a bitch. Gia, she don't like the camera. She's all camera shy. Uh, this one, this one will rip your cock off, okay? I don't know what this one will do. She's very protective, but I, I've, I've never seen her really react. She just copies what this one does. So, she might rip your cock off, too. I shouldn't say this in a cooking video. Still searing. Look at that side, man. That looks good. That looks great, man. What do you think of Bill? He's a good dude, ain't he? Bill's awesome. Ain't he? Solid yeah, he guy. Is. Never fucks you over. Never. Bill's a good friend. Love it. I'll cook for Bill anytime. Yep. Bill's the man. Mr. 45 Bullet, you gotta go sub to that dude. Alright? All right, we're back. What? I said I wouldn't show your face. I can show that. I'm just, just bragging. Got a wide angle. Okay, it's still searing the roast. We're sealing it up. And what if, again, what does that do? Locks the juices in, right? Mm hmm Then we're going to put it in the crock pot. So we're going to show you other shit, too. Yeah. All right, you're searing the ends now. Yeah, yeah. Almost done searing. Imagine searing your balls. Not quite. Okay. Yeah. I said, imagine if I had to sear my balls. Actually, I did get fixed, so I am internally seared. <laughs> 
I cauterized my uh, little tubes that the little sperm swim. Oh. So there's no sperm. <coughs> oh, I forgot to cook the video. That's what it's... All right, we're putting the onions in. Uh, let me ask you something. Yeah. After, you, after the onions are almost done being cooked, do you, you caramelize them? What do you do? That's what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, you deglaze the pan, don't you? Yeah. How so do you do that? caramelize a little and then I deglaze the pan. All right, we'll show how you deglaze the pan because you don't see that too often. Alright, the onions are uh, fried, frying, and we're gonna, what she's going to do is uh, she's going to deglaze the pan. And how you do that is you do that with wine. You can use, to, or you can use broth too. You can use broth, but we're using wine. And you don't ever use wine that you would not drink. Okay? Why? Why? Yeah. Because it evaporates the moisture and concentrates the flavor. So if you use a wine, make sure you use a wine that you like to taste. You like the taste of. Don't just use any wine. And that's 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 deglazing the uh, pan. It's taking all the uh, uh, burnt the fat, <laughs> and it's uh, it's flavor. That burnt flat flavor. That burnt fat is fucking flavor. I can't talk. Yeah, it is. And it also makes the pan easier to clean. Yeah. See. See, I'm, I'm the same in front of my wife that I am on my YouTube, right, hon? <laughs> you don't see me running around my wife going, oh, hi, guys. Uh, no, I fucking talk like this. Because yeah, I'm not a fake. <laughs> she loves me. Yes, I do. All right. That looks good. Now we add, when the pan's the glazed, you got all that stuff up, all yeah. that flavor. That looks good, man. And it mixes with them I'm onions. getting heavier just looking at it. <laughs> All right. I put it in beef broth. You can use water if you we'll want. Show, it. show the can. What kind of can is that? Doesn't have to be anything special. Just beef broth. Beef, beef broth. Maybe we could make this for Bill if we ever go visit him. Hey, look, it's ninety-nine percent fat free. Oh, well, that, that <laughs> helps. All right. All right, we're adding the beef broth in there, and that's going to make the gravy, like the kind of gravy I like, that au jus style. I hate that real thick crap. Not with roast beef, man. You want the watery kind. You know what I mean? This you know is when you go to Wawa and they put that fucking thick ass gravy on your roast beef sandwich and it saturates the roll and it feels like a big soggy, you know? I gotta behave a little bit. That's some fresh pepper. Fresh pepper. <clears throat> a touch. Just a touch of oregano. I don't like oregano, but go ahead. You've always liked it to be just that much, really, just a touch. Okay. You wanted to Ooh. just add to the flavor, but not take it over. <laughs> and a little bit of time. A little time? Oh. That's, I have plenty of time. And you just want to touch of that, too. These are very strong spices. You All don't right. want a whole lot. Time is definitely something I have. All right. All right, so that's the gravy. What's, what's going to happen? You want to let that cook for a while? No, nope. no, it's just it's, you're gonna put it. All right, we're gonna see what she's gonna do. I don't know what she's doing. All right, there's the roast beef in there in the crock pot. Nothing in it yet. I'm gonna do pour all that in there. Yes, I am. All right, she's gonna pour all this gravy. It's raw yet. The gravy ain't really ready yet. Do you see the meat? We there? seen the meat. Pour the gravy in there. Now how long are we going to keep the crock pot in the crock pot? All day, right? All day. Because the longer you keep it in there, it breaks the fat down. And the more it breaks the fat down, the tender it gets. That means it's going to the fall more apart. tender it gets, it falls apart. So you right. let it cook like that and I day. eat like a pig, and then I sit in a chair and fall apart and all night I'm, long. <laughs> when, when you're ready to serve it, you take the meat out, put it to the side, and then you just skim some the grease off the top, and it's ready to go. All right. And I will overeat. What's, are you going to have sides with this? I want to make some mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. So, mashed potatoes and meat, and then a reclining chair. And then I have Bill on speed dial, and I call Bill, and we talk on the phone. 
All right. See you.